Run and crash. Go. I'm Sashi Sivakuma, and I teach at uh, Modbury Special School. Go! And I'm Nicola Haskell, and this is my 11th year teaching special education. Waiting. I have been at the Waiting. school for 10 years now. Charlie Stern, run! Sasha and I have very high expectations for our students and together we've worked on many projects developing very specific goal banks for our students. My class has eight students, all of whom are male, and they all have an intellectual disability and some multiple disabilities as well. We actually researched on this area and we found that most of the children have a sensory integration problem and because they are so visually reliant, they seem to have a lot of sensory problem with other areas with their vestibular system and their auditory system. So today we were looking at balance, um, getting, which is a core muscle strength. So a lot of the beginning stuff where you're jumping, jumping actually uh, stimulates and awakens the body. So we're trying to really work their entire body through the whole of um, the gross motor course. Ready? You're going to crawl all the way to the bubbles and then blow. Crawling. At the end of this exercise, the children are blowing bubbles so that they can slow their breathing and their respiration down so that they're calm enough for an academic task. It's also an oral motor activity, so it's stimulating all of the muscles in the mouth, which also helps with speech. Because we wanted all of our children to achieve success and to know where they were going in their journey, it was paramount that we broke the goals down into very small and achievable steps. If the, the goal that we um, negotiated with the parents was we really wanted this child to be able to write the first letter of their name, so we broke that down so we know we needed to look at the gross motor, the fine motor and all of those pre-skills. Okay, I'm going to put the shapes in. Because our kids with autism are so reliant on their vision, so what we're trying to do is to develop their other senses other than vision, so it's the touch senses as well. Can you find the shape? Can you find it? Put your hands through. At the start, very, very broad goals were set for students. We found that it was less than 50% achievement rate for the students. Find the other shape. So by the end of the year, we found that we actually managed to get like over 95, 98% achievement rate for the every student. So we've got really high expectation that we want every teacher in this on this site to have that sort of percentage. So this is the copy of the quote that we've yep. got to yep. finish off the room. So if you just have a look at the first item, the vibroacoustic ball pool. We've already got Initially, we just shared amongst our colleagues at this site and we went out and we did as much training and development as we could and together we shared the information that we had and from there we went to the wider school and we've actually given training and development to our whole staff and we had teachers from 150 different schools across the state and area schools come in and we focused on movement programs. Um, we had, my specific one was on setting achievable and measurable goals using high standards for the children. Hey, Charlie. It's really writing the right goal for the child. Can you peel the sticker? Yeah. And put it on the line. If you just give a child a pen, they will just use their large motor muscles. If you give a peel and stick activity without thinking they're having to use those fine motors. So we generally do it in that order. So they'll do some peeling and sticking. They might trace the letter with their finger first, which is a bit of motor planning so that they can see where they're meant to put the pen when they do it. And then they'll have the pen. And so they've hopefully stimulated and they're focused on their fingers by the time they actually get to write so that. What does that say? Charlie. Charlie, get your finger. So we continuously have the high expectations and we're continuously increasing the challenge. So as they achieve one part of the goal, we move on to the next for the ultimate goal at the end. Down. So each step of the way, they're working towards that. Around. Breaking everything down into very achievable and measurable yeah. sections so that the staff also feel motivated that they're achieving. The children know what the next step is and the parents are very aware of their expectations. High five. Good boy.